it's quite funny. So when we did the George Best tour in, in England, I saw this girl and she was saying that and she was really glad that we were doing this. I said, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it sounds great. And she said, because I wasn't actually born the first time you did this, which just made me feel ancient. I kind of bought a couple of albums which got, which got really great reviews actually. One was a band called The XX, which I really like. Um, and then my kind of favourite new band. And I also bought one by, by a band called The Animal Collective. Because the reviews, is like, you know, so many papers were saying this is the album of the year. And I kind of missed it. I, you know, I, don't, I don't understand it. You know, it's kind of, okay, it's an interesting sound. But I didn't really hear you know, much in the way of songs and any variability in that sound. It's like, okay, well. And it's a bit Emperor's New Clothes to me, so I don't know. Last year, actually, was a really great year for me for concerts. I was in Santa Monica, and it just happened to be the 100th anniversary of Santa Monica Pier, and Dick Dale was playing that night for free. And I was like, okay, I'll go to that. I think he stopped for a while, because he was ill, and then, because uh, he brought his doctor on stage, and said, you know, the reason why I'm here now is to has been responsible for getting, making me healthy again. And so. Uh, yeah, he's quite the start of it. My favourite film of the last few years is a film called In the Loop. I've seen that absolutely amazing. brilliant. I've seen it about three times now. I can't never get bored of it. I think it's, it's so. Cause I, cause I spent a lot of time in, in obviously you know, Britain, but also North America. So, and that film is, is kind of so cynical about both cultures. It's, it's an amazing piece of work. I, think. I did like that Avatar film. You know, it came out in Britain. I purposely didn't see it because I was coming over here okay. and uh, I knew I'd see it in IMAX 3D so I thought I'll just wait for that. <laughs> and it's more about the experience of, 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 seeing, of seeing that really. I mean it could have been any old film but it's, it, it's great just to be in a cinema and watch that. And I had a friend who, who'd never seen a 3D film and never seen an IMAX film. I was like, get with the 80s. You know? <laughs> so I brought him along and he was like, oh this is brilliant. You know, you know, I bring my friends, to the, the, my kids to this and stuff. So, uh, have you never seen this before? I might, you know. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's not that rare. You know, it's a little surprise when I was making like, music. Is, I know a lot about music. You know, I make records, it's my job. I do concerts, whatever. So I hear a record and I, I'm straight away I'm thinking, hmm, the snare drum is a bit loud. Or, you know, mm -hmm. who produced this? I like that. I've got friends, you go, well, have you seen the director's cut? Well, you know, um, I really don't want to know, you know, I'd, I'd rather keep it still a mystery and, and, and just go in there and be surprised. And, Often I'd just, you know, we'd go to the cinema and just, we'd just look at the, the eight films and go, okay, let's go and see that one, you know. And it's, often it's terrible, but you know, often it's great. Yeah. Let the right one in, I quite like. Did you see that? That's that was awesome. and They're remaking that apparently over here, aren't they? Which, that, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> the thing about Hollywood, they do make kind of popular films, don't they? I mean, I suppose, I mean, I do go and see loads of those films, you know. I might have seen Iron Man too, so I quite like Iron Man. I like the Spider-Man films, but the third one. I love Kirsten Dunst as well, like, yeah, yeah. anything she's in, I, I like anyway, so but, you know, I look forward to seeing Alice in Wonderland, but that's, that's quite cool. I love Stephen Fry, he's one of my favourite people ever. He was on this TV programme once, and obviously he's a very famous man, and, and they asked him, you know, what kind of music he likes, and he said, well, my favourite band at the moment, a few years ago, my Bloody Valentine. I was like, whoa, Stephen Fry even knows about My Bloody Valentine. Bloody Valentine. It's his favourite group. <laughs> so fantastic. Kevin Shields is talking about making a new uh, Bloody Valentine. Mm, well, yeah, apparently. <laughs> it's one of my favourite bands as well, yeah. if not my favourite band. So. They played in Spain, uh, there's a festival in Spain that we play at sometimes, and uh, I went out uh, just to see them really, because you know, <laughs> they're playing there and it's, uh, <laughs> I've got a holiday there, so absolutely brilliant. Uh, are they just as loud as they were? I think they might even be louder, to be honest with you. It was actually unbearable, really, but I, I guess that's the point. You know, I had Chapman years ago after a concert, and, uh, and, uh, and the lights were really intense as well. There's even white. The, Lights blaring in, in, in the face, and I said, God, you know, you're really covering the bases here. You've got the, the sound and the lights. And I, said, I don't know if he was joking. So yeah, yeah, we're going to go for smells. And it's, we're going to make it a total, like, you know, sensory experience. So you never actually play an album through when you actually make it. You know, here's a new album. Here's a few tracks of it. And so actually playing it in its entirety, yeah, it kind of works because obviously you've sequenced it for an album. So, so you've got like a beginning and an end. And, highs and lows and kind of darkness and, and, and light and stuff. So it worked, especially for a band like the Wedding Present who are kind of a live band anyway. You know, they've always been a kind of guitar band in, in, in traditional kind of rock and roll sense. 
uh, it works it works really well. So I'm more you know, as an artist, you want to look forward you know, to you know, new songs, new next LP, and I didn't really want to dwell on kind of nostalgia. But <laughs> but having done it, I actually you know, got a lot out of it. Really, it was it, it was quite a surreal process to you know, put you back yourself back 20 years and almost forget what you. You learn about you know, you know writing songs and you know, making records and stuff. So I kind of always see the wedding present as, as one of those bands when you like the fall or, or New Order or you know kind of outside of what goes on and they kind of exist in their own little world and they've got their own fans and you know, it, it hardly ever crosses over into, into what other people think. So. And every record we've made is a, you know, a different a different personality really, which uh, you know, I'm proud of that. You know, I say we could have been bigger, but you know, I'm happy as well. You know, like a varied catalogue which has reached a certain standard of you know, quality, I hope.